It's time to come to the defense of Broncos running back Melvin Gordon. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sparkin' Over Broncos, the show where we spark conversation about our Denver Broncos. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Before we jump in, you already know the routine. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell. It's the easiest way that you can help support the channel by pushing this content out to fellow members of Broncos country. And while you're at it, check out my second channel, Denver Broncos Syndicate. We are just about to hit 500 subscribers over there, so if you want to be our 500th subscriber, you better act fast. Hands down, the most polarizing player amongst Broncos country that currently suits up for the team is running back Melvin Gordon. You either love him or you hate him. All too often, it seems that Gordon is the topic of conversation amongst the Denver media. Last week, the Denver Post published an article that completely blasted Gordon's work ethic and character. This came following Gordon's decision not to attend voluntary OTAs. Gordon not being present for OTAs is nothing out of the ordinary as he has not attended them for most of his career. I don't go to OTAs, Gordon stated in his first press conference back in the building. Gordon really was not happy with the contents of that article, which labeled him as a quote, selfish, me first, fumble prone headache. In a recent appearance on the Jim Rome show, Gordon blasted the article and strongly defended himself. That pissed me off. I couldn't care less about the fumbles or all that other jazz that they were talking about. What kinda irritated me the most was the bad teammate part. Like, I've never had a teammate ever since high school, since Little League, ever tell me that I was a bad teammate. This is where I'm going to go to bat for Melvin. You can say what you want about him on the field, but to label someone that you have never even met as selfish is a bit of a low blow. I understand that there will always be a sector of Broncos country that will be resentful towards Melvin Gordon, as his arrival basically forced fan favorite Philip Lindsay out the door. You can criticize Melvin Gordon all you want for his fumbling issues, but to attack his character takes things way too far. Melvin certainly hasn't been a saint since his arrival in the Mile High City. People will think back to his DUI charge back in 2020. The DUI charges were later dismissed and Gordon pleaded guilty to a lesser charge, but regardless, it was a significant lack of judgment on his part. Aside from this, Gordon has never been in trouble with the law and has otherwise seemed like a model citizen. Inside the locker room, just like Melvin said, I have never heard of a teammate expressing anything but positivity about him. Teammates say that he brings good vibes and energy in the locker room. They also say that despite the heavy criticism that Melvin receives, he is one of the hardest workers on the team. Fans and analysts have heavily criticized Gordon's decision not to attend OTAs and feel that it is a negative reflection of his work ethic. At the end of the day, these OTAs are voluntary. Gordon probably feels that he can better mitigate his risk for injury by working out on his own. While Melvin did miss some of the early install of the new offense, it's still early enough where he can catch up, especially with the assistance of his former college teammate Russell Wilson. I really don't feel that Melvin Gordon not being present for OTAs is nearly as big of a deal as some make it out to be. He was present for the team's mandatory minicamp, and he still has training camp and the preseason to iron out all of the kinks. Of course, this is a Melvin Gordon video, so I have to address the obvious elephant in the room, the fumbles. Gordon's ball security issues have haunted him throughout his entire NFL career. In seven seasons, Gordon has coughed up the ball 21 times, with 16 of them resulting in turnovers. 
In two seasons in the orange and blue, Melvin Gordon has fumbled 12 times, and to his misfortune, all 12 of them have been recovered by the opposing team. While some of these fumbles have not directly been Melvin's fault, others have, and they've come in critical situations and games, and ultimately and inexcusably cost his team wins. Aside from the fumbles though, Gordon's production on the field has been overall positive. The past two seasons, Gordon has rushed for a combined 1,800 yards, averaging 4.6 yards per carry along with a combined 17 rushing touchdowns. He also accumulated three receiving touchdowns over the past two seasons. Last season, Gordon posted an overall pro football focus grade of 77.8, making him the 16th highest graded running back in the league. At the end of the day, Gordon has produced during his time as a Bronco. When articles like this are published, the people writing them need to consider one thing. These athletes are human beings just like you and me. Put yourself in Melvin's shoes. How would you feel if someone started personally attacking you just because your performance at work wasn't up to their standard? I'll say it again, you can criticize Melvin Gordon all you want for his performance on the field, but you literally don't know Melvin Gordon the person. So I just ask you to consider that before you go about attacking his character. I'm quite excited for the one-two punch that Gordon's going to provide with presumed starter Javante Williams. I envision it being somewhere around a 65-35 split in reps between them. Although Williams figures to be the showcase back, Gordon will still have a significant role. I'm curious Broncos country, how many rushing yards do you see our running backs putting up next season? Drop those comments down below, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at GageMadridNFL for even more Denver Broncos coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Sparkin' Over Broncos, the show where we spark conversation about our Denver Broncos. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out and let's ride.